as, as regular attenders after they moved here year round. Um, they weren't, they expected to be back on Friday, but let me know that if they were not going to be back on Friday, they would send me a message, and they did. They're staying longer with, with some of the family than uh, they thought they would. So we'll receive formally Dick and Dee on another Sunday, and Pris Priscilla as well. Um, Alice, I was trying to think, <coughs> when we were talking, did you say that you've been coming to church here about 20 or 23 years? 26. 26 years, okay. So this has been her church family for 26 years. And she's been actively involved in ministry. I know that before I came, she was a part of the food pantry. Since I've been here, she was a part of helping to do that. And it, it was, I don't know, kind of like a virus. We had a, a new couple here, Becky and Jerry, that started coming to worship with us. Um, Becky had been here in the past. And uh, the, how, many, how many years did you say y'all have been married now? Oh, we haven't even been married a year. Not a year yet, okay. No, October 15th, it'll be a year. Okay, so it's <laughs> newlyweds. Yeah, that's it. And, and so um, they have been going to church elsewhere, but um, came here because of being friends with Marsha and because they heard about how our church and actually had participated in how our church had been involved in outreach ministries. And so they're here for that reason. And so when it was mentioned that they want, wanted to join the church after a few times of worshiping with us, um, then somebody else said, well, I want to join too. And then someone else said, well, you know, if they're joining, I want to join too. And, and so it was a, a, a holy virus uh, that, we, that this sort of got passed around. Um, There's an introduction and a prayer, and then I'm going to ask um, five questions. Uh, we'll have a bit of laying on of hands, and then ask one more question, and then we'll close with uh, we'll close with the, con uh, the with the prayer. All right. Oh, that's what we'll do. In the heaven. You as the congregation, I'd like for you to turn to um, number three. So in the hymnal, it's page <clears throat> number 44. And uh, you'll see at the very bottom of the page on 44, it says, with God's help, we will so order our lives. Okay, so you're going to join in that response when I ask for that. Because what's happening is we're recognizing what God has already done in these people's lives. And we're affirming that. And uh, they're making a pledge to uh, be a part of God's whole church here in this community of our church. And then we are going to renew our commitment as well. So... Jesus said, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, one cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The church is of God and will be preserved to the end of time for con the conduct of worship, the due administration of God's word and sacraments, the maintenance of Christian fellowship and discipline, the edification of believers and the conversion of the world. All people have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Therefore, all stand in need of the means of grace which God alone supplies by his word through the church of Christ Jesus our Lord, who is Son of Man and Son of God. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, our Father, we call upon you that 
we, your servants, remembering your holy baptism, having received remission of our sins, and being filled with your Holy Spirit. Receive us, O Lord. As you have promised by your well-beloved Son, grant that we may be faithful to you all the days of our lives, and finally come to the eternal kingdom, which you have promised through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now I invite um, that those, uh, those people would come here now, Becky and Jerry, Alice, uh, Tony and Lori, if you would come up, just stand here in the middle. After the Gilmores get back and after we have uh, some time for Priscilla to get better, we'll receive them as well. So that there are five questions that I ask, do you? And so your answers already have been, I do. And so we'll do that here. And then the last question that I ask uh, after a, a, a brief ceremony, your, it will be, will you? And so your answers will be, I will. Do you, in the presence of God, with this congregation, renew the solemn vow and promise which was made at your baptism? Do you believe in the one triune God who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Do you receive and profess the Christian faith as con contained in the scriptures of both the Old and the New Testaments? Do you promise, according to, the, according to the grace given you, to keep God's holy will and commandments and to walk in the way of Christ all the days of your life, to be faithful members of Christ's holy church? And do you, do you reaffirm your baptism in this faith? Jerry, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. May God make it so. Becky, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and may his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. And may God make it so. Alice, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. May God make it so. Lori, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. And may God make it so. Tony, may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. May God make it so. For a lot of years, our ritual had a question here, um, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church? And um, some years ago, I think between 15 and 20 years ago, the General Conference did decide that instead of saying be loyal to the United Methodist Church, that we should say, will you be loyal to our Lord Jesus Christ? And then upholding the church with our prayers, presence, gifts, and service. And so that is the question today, to be loyal to our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So here's this will you question. Will you be loyal to our Lord Jesus the Christ and uphold his church by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service? And your answer? Amen. Okay. Brothers and sisters of the faith, we are one family if we are in Christ Jesus. I commend to your love and care these your brothers and sisters whom you receive today into the membership of this congregation. Do all you can in the power of God's Holy Spirit to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. And your response? We rejoice to recognize you. It's page 48. What? You're on it, page 48. You want page 48? 44. You're saying page 48 is what you were just saying. Forty-four is the baptism one. This is the reception of local confidence on page forty-eight. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Page forty-eight. Are you there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We rejoice to recognize you as members of Christ's holy church and bid you welcome to this congregation of the United Methodist Church. With you, we renew our vows to uphold it by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ, that surrounded by steadfast love, you may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in the way that leads to eternal life. And now, before you may stand and face the congregation. So, some of these uh, brothers and sisters have been for, with us for a long time, or for a little while, or just recently. Um, but they are all from another part of our family in Christ, and now living with us. And so, I commend them to you. All right, now, in order to honor you, if you don't need to go get something from the pews, then you can go right through that door and be first in line. Okay. Oh, and Debbie has the yellow tickets. If you don't, um, it's the complimentary. Back. The food is complimentary. Come and join us. But we'd like you to have a ticket so we have a head count. So if you don't have a ticket... They're on the podium in the back. They're there on the uh, little podium lectern there in the back. All right, see you at dinner.